Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve exercise question from book topics in algebra. Question is if G is a group of even order, prove it has an element A0 equals to E satisfying A square equals to E. So let's start our proof. We will prove this result by contradiction. It is given to us that G is a finite group. So on contrary suppose there is no element A0 equals to E in G such that A square is not equals to identity. So this is our assumption. Thus for all G not equals to E in G we have G square is not equals to E. Now this G square can be written as G dot G. So we get G dot G is not equals to E and this implies G is not equals to G inverse. That means for every non-identity element G in group G that element is not equals to its inverse. Thus for all G not equal to E in G G will be associated with its inverse G inverse in G. That is we can associate G with its inverse. Now in the next step all these non-identity elements can be paired into mutually disjoint subsets of order 2. What we have done here? We can form a subset of order 2 that is a subset containing two elements G and its inverse and all such subsets will be mutually disjoint as G is a group. So for every non-identity element G in G that non-identity element will have a unique inverse in G. So such subset containing two elements will be mutually disjoint. Now as G is a finite group we can assume that the total number of such mutually disjoint subsets are n in number where n is some natural number. Now because of this what we get the total number of elements in G that is order of G will be equal to 2n plus 1. Here 2n will be the total number of non-identity elements. Since we have assumed that all mutually disjoint subsets are n in number and all these subset contain two elements. So there will be total 2n number of non-identity elements and one is added for the identity element. But this is a contradiction to the fact that order of G is even. This is given to us in the question. Thus our assumption that there is no element A not equal to E in G such that A square equals to E was wrong. As we get a contradiction to the fact that order of G is even therefore there must exist an element a not equal to e in g such that a square equals to e in g and this proves our result. 